guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you my pregnancy test line progressions. So these are all the tests that I took when we were trying and I used the strip test, the easy at home strip test. They're amazing, not sponsored, but I will link them down below because they come with 50 ovulation tests and 25 pregnancy tests. They are fantastic little strip tests and they're super cheap. And then I also used, I wanna say they're the early response early response first response they, they come in the pink package and i use some clear blue tests so you will see all of that if you have any questions about my cycle or about testing in general definitely leave them down in the comments below like i mentioned i will link all the tests in the description bar so all you need to do is press that little show more button and that's it let's jump right into it all right guys so here are my tests um, you'll see above these are the ovulation tests. So the ovulation tests in the kit are blue. The pregnancy tests are pink. Um, I did a whole separate video on ovulation test line progression, so I will link that. But here are the pregnancy tests. I'll show you these ones first. This is obviously when I got my positive, but there was a month prior to this one that we tried and we did not get a positive. So I'll show you those two just for, um, comparison so I started testing cycle day 21 just for reference my cycle is normally anywhere between 25 26 days in length I did have a couple 24 day cycles in there too um, so started testing in cycle day 21 which isn't incredibly early for me but this was only seven or eight DPO it was in the morning but not first morning urine and if it'll focus, you can see there's like definitely no line there. And I thought for sure, okay, we're out this cycle. This was our third circle cycle trying. So I really thought we were out. Um, and then cycle day 21, this was the same day. As you can see, I got a little um, test crazy. Started testing multiple times the, during the day. But I do start getting faint lines on cycle day 21. So this was cycle day 21, 11.30 a.m. I'm not seeing any line there. Even now, like... So many days later, I'm, I'm not seeing a line, right? Then, cycle day 21 at 2 p.m. So this is still 7 or 8 DPO. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can definitely see a line. Yeah, right there. So that's pretty cool. Then, I took another test at 6.40 p.m. And again, very, very faint line. We have cycle day 22, 8 or 9 DPO. So we're here. 6 35 a.m here i didn't see like now you can see a faint line but i didn't see as as heavy a faint line which made me a little bit nervous because looking back at this one this is cycle day 21 at 6 40 p.m i did see like quite a faint line cycle day 22 8 or 9 dpo 10 30 in the morning definitely see a nice faint line there again hopefully you can see it Right, so that's that one right there. I see a faint line right there, and then here the lines become a bit more obvious. So this is cycle day 22 at 12:30 p.m. Right here, and then jumping to cycle day 23, 9 or 10 DPO, 5:40 in the morning. This was first morning urine. So you're seeing like a definite faint line right there, and then I kept testing, obviously to make sure that the line got darker. Um, I wrote. 9 or 10 DPO, 7 or 8 DPO, because I was a little unsure this cycle about when exactly I ovulated. So um, that's what's happening here. <laughs> I apologize that that's not a little uh, clearer. And then here we have cycle day 24. This was 10 or 11 DPO, 4 a.m., first morning urine, a nice uh, darker line there, nice progression. Cycle D25, 11 or 12 DPO, 7 and 7.50 in the morning, so this was not first morning urine, but another nice dark line, definitely got darker. We have cycle D26, so this is definitely when my period would have, would have started. 12 or 13 DPO, this was 5.30 in the morning, first morning urine, and that's a really nice, nice dark line there. Cycle day 27, 13 or 14 DPO. Again, 5.45 in the morning, first morning you're in. A nice dark line. And then we have cycle day 28 and 29. 28 was 14, 15 DPO. 11.30 in the morning, cycle day 29, 15 or 16 DPO at 1.30 in the afternoon. That one's really nice and dark. I had meant to also test cycle day 30 just to round it all out, but I forgot. So there you go, there is my pregnancy test line progression. 
So this was the month that we just found out that we are expecting. And now I'll show you. So this was the month that we tried um, the month prior, the cycle prior, I should say, where I didn't, I was not pregnant. So cycle day 21, 10 DPO. So I was a lot, I was definitely cert more certain about when my cycle was happening this month. 7.15 in the morning, first morning urine, there was no line, which made me nervous because by 10 DPO, I would normally have a faint line. Cycle day 21, 8 a.m. Again, I tested nothing. Cycle day 21 at 4.30 p.m., nothing. Cycle day 22, 11 DPO. By 11 DPO, I was like, okay, if there's nothing, this is first morning urine. If there's nothing there, then I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not pregnant. And then cycle day 23, 12 DPO, 7.35 in the morning, nothing. And then I stopped after cycle day 23 because I pretty much knew that I was not pregnant and... It's heartbreaking to keep testing when you know it's just going to be negative. So that's for comparison. There you go. All right, guys, here are the pregnancy tests. This is the first response, early response stick tests with the two lines. Um, I started testing 8 or 9 DPO. I'll have explained earlier in this video what that means and like why it's eight or nine. But this was my test at 6.30 in the morning. I don't think this was first morning urine because I would have written it, but you can see a super faint line. And then we have eight or nine DPO at 12.30 PM. And then it, the line started, I mean, the line is very apparent on eight or nine DPO at 12.30 but I was looking for the line to get darker. That's nine or 10 DPO at 11.15 in the morning. This was um, nine or 10 DPO at 5.40 in the morning. 10 or 11 DPO at 4 a.m. with first morning urine. 11 or 12 DPO at 7.50 in the morning. You can see that line is a very dark. And then this was the one that I just took. This is 12 or 13 DPO, 5.30 in the morning with first morning urine. And as you can see, the lines are definitely getting darker, which is fantastic. And my period is actually due today. So 12 or 13 DPO. And there you go. There's the line progression with the first response, early response. Okay, and here are the clear blue tests um, that came with, I was looking for the um, digital clear blue test and I got a pack twice that had the one digital, or sorry, I think it was two digital, two of the cross tests, and then one pack had, I I think one digital and one of these, I don't remember. Uh, but this is what I have for clear blue. So this was the clear blue test that I took eight or nine DPO at 6.30 in the morning. And as you can see, there's like no line at all. Zero line, which was like super discouraging because all the other tests had lines. They were faint, but you could still see them. So this, this one has zero line. Um, and I'll show you, hold on. Or just for comparison, here's the, uh, first response test, eight or nine DPO, same time. And you can see, you can see the line on the first response, literally nothing on the clear blue test. You can see an indentation line and like a line in the plastic, but there's no ink line, right? And it's a, it's a red dye test too. So I was pretty surprised about that and it got me a little bit nervous, but then 11 or 12, DPO, 7.40 in the morning, you can see there's a pretty substantial line, but that didn't develop until a little bit later. So I thought that was pretty interesting too. And here, just for comparison, this is the 11 or 12 DPO test that took around relatively the same time. And you can see this line is a lot darker. The test line is a lot darker than this test. So again, I don't know what that's about, but the first response test seemed to have picked up the HCG a lot better than these clear blue tests. And then here's the cross test. So I took one eight or nine DPO at 12 30 PM. And you can, you can see a line. I don't know if it's picking up super well on camera. These windows have yellowed quite a bit. So 
Um, that's what I want to show you now. Nine or ten DPO. Again, the line got uh, the line got darker. I mean, you can you can certainly see it. And then ten or eleven DPO. Four AM. The line looks kind of the same. A little bit darker, maybe. I don't know. Not in love with these tests, to be honest. I had a really great experience with clear blue with um, when I tested when I was pregnant with Theodore. I don't know why this this go around it wasn't wasn't as great. Um, and then these are the two digital tests that I took. A first response test that came up yes. I took a clear blue digital test at the exact same time that I took this test, guys. And this came up not pregnant, which like really freaked me out. So I took another test like a couple hours later, and then it finally did come up pregnant. So. There you go, first response again. <laughs> kind of coming in coming in for the win. But there you go, That's those are all the tests. The non-strip tests at least. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.